this is Chelsea with Cowboys Backstage Pass. We're here with the Swan Brothers. How are y'all doing tonight? So good. We're great. We're pumped. Good. We're yeah. happy to have you here. We just got done with sound check and we are ready to rock. That's what we like to hear. Mm -hmm. um, I want to start all out with a question we ask everybody. What do you guys love most about Texas? Oh, what do we love most about? I gotta say, y'all have some of the best food I've ever had here. I like the portions of food. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. So, yeah. Good, good. We do like our food here. <laughs> um, you guys were just recently nominated for Vocal Duo of the Year by the American Country Music Awards. How's yes, our first ACM nomination. That <clears throat> feels pretty dang good. Like we're still kind of you wake up you just feel like everything's just a big prank you know so um but it's becoming a reality and it's but I think we'll always just be on cloud nine like this never gets old I love my job cool pretty awesome um your song pray for you is a pretty emotional song was there anything specific you wanted to portray for the music video um well we didn't want him in it <laughs> so, I think we uh you know when you do a video, you get like a few different packages to look at um, of how the video could go. And so when we read this one, uh, we just loved how it played out kind of like a movie. And um, we just watched American Sniper, so you know, it just, I don't know, it just really hit home. And I think it really told a story better than, you know, it was perfect. Yeah. The actors did perfect, and uh, it was just cool to bring that song to life. Um, what was it like being able to co-produce your first album? Oh man, that's uh, right out of the gate to get to produce. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> to get to produce on your first album, that don't happen very often, and we uh, we got to put our our Swan Brothers stamp on it, and I'm pretty happy about that. Were you guys nervous? Oh yeah. No. No, it was, <laughs> it, was it was so fun. It was so fun. So much fun. Just like a kid in a candy store. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what has it been like touring with Brad Paisley? Um, well, you don't sleep much because you got to sleep with one eye open with that guy because <laughs> he is notorious for pranking people, and uh, he. Uh... <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Let's just take notice that my brother's in a tank top and shorts. Oh! <laughs> I've been running. I've been trying to, and it smells like he's been running. I've been trying to get in shape for the show. But, um, <laughs> anyway, back to your question. We'll just... But, um, no, he is great. He's he's awesome. He, he does prank a lot. He's always up to something. I mean, Brad, you know, Brad Paisley liked me a lot better than my brother on the tour. It was very nice. That's not true. Got really... <laughs> got tight. That's not true at all. <laughs> Guitar players stick together. Okay. My brother doesn't really play any guitar. Wow. <laughs> um, speaking of playing, what's your favorite song to play? In our set? Like, yes. or just the vault? Uh, know? both. Okay. Oh, gosh. Favorites. I can't even answer that. I think, I think right now our favorite song to play in our set has to be later on. Just mm -hmm. because, you know, the radio and the fans, like, they, it's our first top 15 single, you know, and that, that is very hard to accomplish and... So when you see people singing it back, and that's that is really really cool to to see, and that's a good feeling. But um, pray for you, and uh, golly, they they all mean different things. But pray for you, it's cool to see the different reactions, like because you can be rocking out and then do pray for you, and like people really start listening and you know, paying attention, right. and they're not just dancing, you know. So uh, I would say that's our top two right now. Very cool. Um, during or after your time on The Voice, did you guys have any starstruck moments meeting artists that you listened to when you were growing up? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, during The Voice, we had to sing with Bob Seger, and man, that guy, he's a legend. Living legend. I mean, he's incredible. So that was definitely a starstruck moment. Um, and then uh, we got to meet, we got to meet so many people. Paul McCartney, that was incredible. Did I mean, they give you guys any advice? Kind of stuck with you? You know, I think they were just more like down to earth. I think just the way they were as people was a better thing than them actually telling us something. Just because, you know, you look up to these guys and you never know what to expect, mm -hmm. but you know they are where they are because of the way they treat people and, you know, 
these are superstars who have every right to, you know, shun us little guys away, but they didn't, you know, they're just really down to earth and will tell you story after story, so I think the fact that they treat everyone like family is pretty cool. Really cool. <laughs> Dude, I do not know what is wrong with him today. This never happens. I just feel like you're, you're talking like Dr. Phil over here. It's just weird to see you serious. Well, it was a serious question. All right, go and to be real honest, to be real honest, I hadn't met Brad Paisley yet, and so after The Voice, I got to meet him. He's one of my guitar heroes, so the fact that we got to actually go on tour and get close to him was pretty awesome. Cool. Um, so you guys definitely like to joke and play around, and I oh, know yeah. you talked about Brad playing pranks, but do y'all ever prank each other? Yeah, actually, um, they think it's really funny to actually, I've been going through some <clears throat> heart problems lately, and I know why. It's because they hide in places and scare me. <laughs> like, uh, one night I came, it was like 2 or 3, well, like, a.m., you know, we're all, we all get done with showering and get back on the bus or whatever, and as I'm putting my bag under the bay, they had hit out, filmed it, hit out under, <laughs> in the bay. Our drummer got in the bay and waited for, like, forever for me to come out. And it just jump out. <laughs> it was the best night when of it, my life. When I opened it up, like kind of like a trunk almost. He dropped two suitcases in the middle of the parking lot and took off like a bullet. He didn't even know what he was running from. He just yeah. ran. And it was so, so, so funny. Yeah. I feel like we should get to see that video. I, we need to find it. Yeah. We do need to find it. We put it online at, at one point, but it's been a long time. So. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I know you guys grew up with Carrie Underwood. What's your favorite memory with her? You know, favorite memory with Carrie, I would say. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Why? Do not. I know what you're gonna say. No, no, I'm gonna say just playing like getting beat by her in all the talent shows. You know, uh, all the local, you know, whatever shindig that we we're playing at. She always shine, outshined us and stuff. So thank you, Carrie. I got to. I got to. Uh, go to college with her and uh, so just mm -hmm. I, we played in the same country music show mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> watching her from you know she's a star yeah. no matter what like I was playing drums in the show Even, and yeah. she like shine, outshined everybody in the thing like she's just she's awesome and she sounded like that since she was 12 years old yeah mm -hmm. incredible well I think that's all we have now Thank you guys for coming well, out. Thanks right. for letting us stop by. And we're excited Sorry for about this wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> really I'm sorry guys. about this face. <laughs> we'll see you next time, y'all. Thanks.